Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be painting this beautiful Moterm pink croc planner. This is their new design and I love the idea of a croc planner since I've been wanting one for so long but I just wasn't in love with the color pink. It's not exactly my style so I thought I would go ahead and paint it. So when I ordered this planner on AliExpress, I also ordered this Angelus brand acrylic leather paint in the color Play in the Sand. And I thought it would be perfect to have a beige planner since that's a little more my style and it does look a little more professional for the office. So today I'm going to be using just a regular paintbrush that I found at my house. It's not exactly the best quality paintbrush. Um, if you have a better one, then go ahead and use it. I've also seen um, somebody use a sponge brush instead, and it might actually have a better result. So this is the color I'll be using today. It does come with its own little paintbrush, but I'll just be using mine since it's a larger project. And I'm just going to use this um, round-tipped knife just to unscrew the rings. It won't ruin them since it, since it is a round, rounded tip, so it's fine. Um, and I do have a confession to make. I really did want to see what this color was going to look like on my planner before painting the whole thing, since I was very indecisive once I got it. Um, so I decided to paint this little strip that was um, under the rings so that nobody could see it and I really liked it so here we are today and we're gonna go ahead and paint it <laughs> so I just went ahead and grabbed the paint and just put it all over the place and started getting crazy with it this paint does dry very quickly so it's perfect for a project like this if you paint thin layers then it shouldn't take long to dry in between coats and when I was painting this part of the secretarial pocket, in order for it not to transfer onto the top part of the pocket, I would actually close the leather paint, um, make sure that it's very closed and that it's not dirty, and then I would stuff it inside the pocket in order for it to have some room to dry and to breathe, and then move on to the next part. And then here I'm going over the pockets. Just know that wherever they're stitching, such as these pockets and the edges, you might want to paint over it with an extra um, coat. Because of the stitching, you can still see the pink. And then once it's dry, make sure you um, open up the pockets so that they don't stick together. So here we are going around the uh, pen loop. The inside of the pen loop is probably going to stay pink unless you want to paint inside, but you don't really see it. So here is the, I believe, second coat of the inside of the planner. You can still see a little bit of pink around the edges, but you can just do another coat. I was really excited to go ahead and paint the front part of the planner because this is my favorite part since it has the larger scales. That's what I'm calling them because I'm not quite sure how to refer to them. And um, I was really excited to see what this would look like in beige. So I just went ahead and put a bunch of paint all over it and went crazy once more. if you get paint over any metal parts of the planner. While the paint is still wet, you can just wipe it off with your finger or with a cloth or a piece of paper. And even once it's dry, you can still um, scratch it off and it won't damage any of the metal parts.
Okay, so here's the final result, you guys. Look how beautiful this beige color is. I love it. I didn't put a top coat over it. I didn't put a base coat under it. I just put the paint on it and it looks amazing. It comes out as a matte color. It's a little difficult to see with the light inside. It is nighttime, so I'll be showing it to you in the daytime soon. But it does come off as a matte color. Um, there I put in the rings and I'm going to start putting everything together and setting it up. I have a few die cuts. That one's from Bunny Plans and then from Plans and Vibes. I do have some discount codes down below that you can check out. And I'm slowly going to put my planner into place, all of my inserts, so that you can see what it looks like. It does end up looking a little darker with this lighting, but there it looks great. And don't forget to paint the fly leaf. I love the fly leaf that comes with the Moturn planners. And don't forget to paint the edges so that there's no pink left on them. Look at that, it's so amazing. Oh, look at it all together. Oh, I'm so glad that I painted it. I love it. So here it is in outdoor lighting. As you can see, it's a light beige. It looks beautiful. I'm so glad I did this. Um, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. If you're thinking of painting your own, I would love to see it. Follow me on Instagram at lally.plans and show me, tag me, share.